So today we're taking a look at the Nokia 6310, and I'm really excited to showcase this device to you because it does work here in the United States for the time being, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's talk about the hardware, the software, and who this device is for. So the hardware of the device is actually really nice. Uh, about $89 or about 69 pounds or 50 pounds, depending on where you find it, it's going to be actually a very good device. Internationally, this will work for a long time because it's internationally some countries are not turning off 2G. Here in the United States, it only works with US mobile or T-Mobile networks. So be mindful of that. I actually tried the AT&T network, MVNO and regular, and it didn't work. So if you're going to activate it or devices similar to this, 2G devices, make sure to go to uh, the 2G network. Now, as you see, there is a couple of profiles that we're gonna go over and some in-depth things here and there uh, in order to know what this device is all about. But it does work for calls and text messages. The loudspeaker is very loud and it's very good. Now, in direct sunlight, it's not the best. As you see there, it's a little bit of a simulation. You will still be able to read it, but it's going to uh, struggle just a little bit. The screen is not bad at all and you'll be able to see it. And it does get plenty bright if that is something that you're looking into. Now you have different options right there. Messages, music, photos, camera, uh, videos. Uh, Facebook, which is actually not an application, it's just taking you to the Opera Mini browser, and that's about it. Uh, you'll be able to exit it, you'll be able to not actually have all of that. Uh, you don't need to use uh, Facebook, it's not an application. You cannot uninstall the icon, however, you have to have it there. Then you have the radio, which works with and without a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is something that the device does have right here. And the device works and it receives the radio pretty fine. So if you're on a walk or something like that, you'll be able to listen to it. Then you have a voice recorder that works uh, when you're making calls and whether you're not or whether you want to record a lecture or whatever it is, it's not the greatest quality, however, so it's just for emergencies. Same thing with the camera. It's not going to win any awards, but it does work very well. And for 59 pounds or $89, maybe a little bit more if you're importing it, I do really like the feel. The buttons are very clicky. They have a really nice response. They don't feel too plasticky, even though most of the construction is plasticky, but it's, it's really nice. Again, you have a clock, alarms, multiple alarms, a calendar, a calculator. You have file manager if you want to import some music or whatever it is. You do have some of the settings I want to showcase here. You have the phone settings, connection, display, tone settings, profiles that you can set up, time settings, call settings, security settings. Uh, and uh, you can reorder them here and there. You can also send feedback or restore to the factory details. Again, this device is essentially for those of you who want something very simple. You don't want anything, you know, like apps or even a very big functional browser. Uh, at least this device is 2G, so it's not going to have the best experience. Also right there, if you go into the Opera Mini browser, you can find some things, but it's not going to be the most pleasant experience here and there. As it says there, it fails to connect because uh, the APN is very hard to configure with US Mobile. I'm still trying different APN settings in order to make it work, but everything else works, like the text messaging, and also the uh, send, uh, calls and everything else. Um, you are not able to send group text messages. Uh, so here I'm gonna create a message. And for example, if you want, you have different inputs as you see ABC, uh, one, two, three, and things like that. There is no T9 as far as I can tell. So you are attached to triple click only, which is not the best, but again, it does get the job done and it's actually really nice to use. You can add smileys, you can insert templates uh, that you create before, you can add attachments or insert a symbol, save as a draft, and you can create your own dictionary. So if you wanna create that, then you have that ability. Um, I do believe that the T9 is able to be installed or kind of activated, but I still haven't found uh, all of the settings again in it. And I've been playing around with it for the last couple of days, but again, you can create MMS, just not reliable group text messages, uh, sadly, um, just because, I don't know, it's the operating system that it doesn't have that ability in here. You do, you do have a lot of uh, different abilities to, to create a lot of different things. Uh, here you have a capture photo, um, I probably will put it, but it's nothing special, it's not going to win any awards, 
it's just for a quick snap or something that, hey, you know, you really need to get some sort of information. You zoom in and you'll be able to use it. The battery life is actually remarkable. Uh, this is using a very basic operating system. So the battery life is going to be three, four days, like the good old Nokia's of old. You can even extend it into a week if you don't use it a ton, right? Uh, you have Snake, which is, of course, you know, the game that it comes preloaded. Uh, you have dual SIM on this specific device, so you're able to use two SIM cards. Uh, here in the United States, again, you can only use T-Mobile SIM cards, so that kind of defeats the point of using two SIM cards unless you have two numbers with T-Mobile uh, specifically. Then you have some games, again, right there to, I don't know, pass the time. You cannot delete them, but the software runs very well. It's very fast. as a real-time operating system. Uh, like many of the operating systems. But again, the device is very well made. It's very nice in the hand. It's very compact as well. I, I do enjoy using this device. I'm going to bring a couple of other devices to kind of compare. And it's very similar. Like So Punk 10 pc 2 right here, very similar in size and uh, also thickness and battery life and everything. It's kind of like a similar device, but this one runs on Android. It's way smarter. It has Signal and Pigeon and all of those things. But this one is way more basic. So it's just regular, you know, just a very basic operating system with no bells and whistles. So if that's what you're looking for, then this device is for you. It doesn't have hotspot. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. It doesn't have all of those niceties, but at least those things are also not draining the battery. Now, this device may not be the most ideal for the US market, but it is actually very good for the time being. So 2G is going to be shut down probably by the end of the year. So if you want to use a device until then, or you want to use other 2G devices, like for example, older generation, that 3G devices that don't have uh, the 3G enabled anymore, now as of February, as carriers have started to shut down, then you're able to use them on 2G and kind of rely on that, like a BlackBerry or something like that. It will still work for calls and text messages with some issues with data and other things. Um, but again, the Nokia 6310 has done perfectly. It has done beautifully. Um, you do have a couple of extra things here that I want to showcase to you. In the extras category, you have readout. If if you have maybe you know difficulty with an impairment or you know it reads out what you're looking into like if it's a unit conversion flashlight it will just read out what it is uh, so it will speak to you if somebody with low vision or something like that maybe an elderly uh, parent or grandfather that needs a basic phone that reads it out well this phone does it now again not recommending this for the united states but for international mainly uh, you have a timer stopwatch things of that nature and of course you, you again you have let me show you the calendar. You have the basic things, the basic necessities that will get you through the day. Um, there is another device like this that is very basic and kind of like, you know, just basic, no frills, no anything like the AGM M6 and the Plum Flipper, which is actually the next device that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, and I'll give you my thoughts on that device in the future. That one has a couple of extra features that this one doesn't. And of course, it works very good in the United States with VoLTE. But the build quality is not that great. But again, Nokia 6310, very, very lovely device. I've, I've enjoyed my time using this device and testing it. I personally think that it has a lot of potential. Sadly, Nokia only made it um, as a 2G device. The 4G device, which is the Nokia 225 4G, sadly does have an issue with text messages and I wouldn't recommend it that much. So again, here are some of the languages that you have available. Um, key guard settings, welcome note, activation modes, yada, yada, yada. So you have a lot of different things on this device which are very welcome in the uh, basic phone space but it lacks a couple of extra functionality, sadly, for a lot of the other things. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions or anything else for this device or other devices that I have reviewed, I'll you know talk about it. I'll be with you guys there in the comments. And if there's nothing else, uh, of course, you know I'll just move on into the next review and hopefully you'll be able to watch it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.